if n is a positive integer, is the value of b minus a at least twice the value of 3 to the n minus 2 to the n? Well, statement number 1 tells us that a equals 2 to the n plus 1, and b equals 3 to the n plus 1. So let's think about this. The laws of exponents would tell us that what that equals is 2 to the n times 2 to the 1. So in other words, that's 2 times 2 to the n. This would be 3 to the n times 3 to the 1. So that would be 3 times 3 to the n. And notice that 3 times 3 to the n is larger than 2 times 3 to the n. Well, b minus a would equal 3 to the 3n minus 2 to the 2n. This would be larger if we replace this with this. It would be larger than 2 times 3 to the n minus 2 times 2 to the n. And of course, that's equal to twice 3 to the n minus 2 to the n, twice the statement that we're interested in. So turns out that this piece of information does tell us that b minus a is greater than twice of that expression. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now forget everything about statement number one. Statement number two on its own tells us merely that n equals 3. Well, that's interesting because now we can actually figure out 3 to the 3 minus 2 to the 3. Well, that's 27 minus 8. That's 19. Twice of that, of course, is 38. And so really the question boils down to is B minus A greater than 38? Well, unfortunately, statement number 2 by itself gives us zero information about the value of A or B. It gives us no information at all about A or B. And so by itself, statement number 1 is insufficient. Statement number, statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is insufficient. Answer choice A.